Um, I think because the Nordic countries have a quite sophisticated innovation policy. And if we think about innovation policy, it's useful to distinguish them in three kinds of policy paradigms. You can do the traditional policy paradigm, which is about regulations and top-down government, which tells actors what to do. It can be more market-based, so the government just provides the incentives and the framework conditions and lets the private actors get on with it. Or the third policy paradigm is more network governance, and their policymakers see their role more as uh, bringing people together, uh, creating visions, allowing learning processes and collaboration. And I think many other countries, like the UK, for instance, is very strong in the market model. But I think the Nordic countries, and Germany, uh, Denmark, they are very good in the more in the third uh, policy paradigm. And, and that's particularly useful if you want to do radical innovation. So that's why I think the uh, Nordic countries are very good at it.